British Foreign Secretary James Callaghan led the Geneva Peace Talks, attended by U.S. Assistant Secretary of State Arthur Hartman. It was quite clear from those meetings that there was sort of no understanding. And um, Callahan talked to me about, you know, can you Americans stop this second invasion, which it looks like it's about to take place. Another crisis was reaching its climax in Washington. I began by Watergate. The president, there was a cancer growing on the presidency. And if the cancer was not removed, the president himself would be killed by it just about to go down the tube at that point. Um, and it was quite clear to me from afar that there was no way of getting the American government's attention for something as serious as intervening uh, in Cyprus to stop a second invasion. Hartman, representing America's interests at the Geneva Peace Talks, says he could barely get the ear of his boss, Secretary of State Henry Kissinger. In retrospect, he thinks he understands why. Uh, looking back at some of the memoirs, he was on his knees with Nixon in the, in the Oval Office at virtually the time I was in Cyprus. So he did not have much of his attention focused on what the hell I was doing out there. But in Washington, State Department officials did hear from Kissinger. Dr. Kissinger removed me from my position as the head of the Cyprus operation. Uh, shortly after the invasion, so I cannot speak to that from first-hand experience. But I recommended that to, to Dr. Kissinger that he use his considerable influence to keep the Turkish army in the enclave where they were originally before they drove to both coasts. And we obviously did not bring enough pressure to achieve that because they did break out of the Kyrenia pocket and their tanks went to both coasts thus dividing the island in half.